Hi everyone, I am The Roaring Roar and welcome to some creative time. This is a new video type for me because most of you are more familiar with my design doll videos but I was inspired by friends who make a project and wanted to share the experience. Basically we bought a lot of stickers from a recent Comic Con from so many wonderful artists. However, we're both hesitant in using them in case we have to throw them away. You know, they might end up going onto a phone or onto a book and then eventually you're not using any more and you've lost a wonderful piece of art. And then she had the genius idea to make them into magnets. This tutorial will suit anyone on a low budget like myself, so here's a list of what you will need to turn your stickers into magnets. You will need magnet sheets, UV resin, a UV torch, glue, scissors and a scalpel. All of these items can be found on eBay and always make sure to read any details before you purchase any items. Now, behold my live action hands. So here's a little sticker that I'm starting with. Place it on top of the paper side of the magnet paper. And as you can see from this pen when I'm trying to draw my outline, it's not very good. It swishes away, it washes off. So what you want to do is get yourself a ruler, measure the shape of your sticker, sometimes overlapping it, whatever works. Take your scalpel and trim along the line that you need to cut. Do not cut through the magnet paper, it's far too thick, you will hurt your hands. Get a nice strong pair of scissors and cut your way down the line that you've marked out with your scalpel. Take your time, don't rush it, and also don't try to cut around the shape of the sticker far too early. You'll want a nice, solid square shape or rectangular that you can place your sticker on top of and then begin the trimming process. I wanted to experiment with a few techniques to try and find out what was the best method for coating these stickers because I didn't want to just place a sticker on a magnet sheet and let that be because there's always a risk it's going to get dirty, it's going to peel off and then it's ruined and a lot of that time and effort is just wasted. So I'm making several little blocks and these little cat stickers are going to be placed on top and I'm going to try various methods to see which one works. Now that I have my little blocks ready, we're going to place the stickers on top. So peel away the paper from the magnet and then you're going to place your sticker on top with the paper side on. So we're not going to peel the sticker and place it on the magnet, it's going to be paper side down. Now there's a reason for this and I'm going to show you each of those methods individually so you can understand what the process is and find the one that works for you. My first attempt was taking the scissors and cutting straight onto the magnet paper with my sticker still applied. I probably wouldn't do this anymore in the future just because there's too much of a risk that you could cut through your sticker and that ruins the design. If you cut through the bit of paper on the sticker, you can always take the sticker and put it onto another bit of magnet paper. But once you've cut through it, you've kind of ruined that little piece of art and it's a shame to lose that. Afterwards will come the scalpel trimming process. So this is when you're starting to carve your way around the actual sticker once it's on the magnet, gently trimming away the excess that your scissors couldn't get to. Now this is a very dangerous part when you're slicing away, so you're kind of pulling the knife towards yourself like you're peeling a carrot. Take your time with this, be very careful, be very slow, and you know, you don't want to slice through your thumb doing this, so make sure you take your time and do not let your impatience get the best of you. next method is the exact same as the first, but like before, I would say peel away the sticker so you aren't going to ruin your piece. So now you have a nice clear outline, much easier to trim around and you're going to feel a little less anxious about cutting through the artwork. So again, take your time, trim around, take off little chunk after little chunk and then we're going to take the scalpel, we're going to softly trim around that edge take our time so we have a nice lovely surface all trim and ready to go to plate to begin the application process 
Next part is simply applying glue onto the magnet. This is why we have the paper part down so we have a nice clear surface that helps us see what we're doing and we just smooth that down trying to get an even coat as possible and then carefully place your sticker on top of it. Smooth that down, make sure you get out any air bubbles, nice flat surface and we're good to go. And now we have the coating process. We have our magnets ready, so let's try out the different samples of items we have to see what works the best. We have clear craft glue, you can get in any supermarket. The next one we have is UV resin, the one I'm most looking forward to. Next you can use plain white craft glue, easy stuff you can get in a supermarket. However, mine is from the thread banger box, so I had to cover it so you didn't see all the little swear words plastered across the front. We're going to start applying the clear glue. Simple coating, nothing fancy, just make sure you get a nice even amount across. We're going to try the super glue now. Very strong stuff and I've always quite liked it. It's always worked for a lot of the crafting items I've wanted to do. It gives a nice clear coat and hopefully it will turn out quite well. Now we have the white craft glue. This is ideal for a lot of people, it's easy enough to get and it often does provide quite a nice coat and varnish if you're not able to get anything stronger. We give that a nice even coat and layer, try to cover up any air bubbles, and then we'll leave it alone to dry. Now we're going to try the UV resin. This is the item I'm most looking forward to because it appears to have some of the best results in terms of coating your items with a lot less time than what epoxy resin requires. Once you've done that, you're going to take your UV torch, make sure, there's a, make sure you turn off any lights around the room, and slowly move that over the item, taking your time, trying not to be tempted to touch it. And now we get to see the results. This one is the white craft glue. It left quite a few wee air bubbles in it, but a smooth surface. The next is the clear craft glue. Again, okay, but it has a bit of a tacky feel to it. The super glue, definitely a no-go, but this one is the UV resin, and it by far has the best results. The little mistakes in it are mostly my own doing, not gluing things down properly, or being a bit impatient with it. But I did a few more experiments to test it out and I ended up making some wonderful magnets out of the stickers I got at Comic-Con. If I can find the artist that made these stickers, I will put it in the, in the links below. But I can't find her right now, so if anyone knows who this artist is, please tell me so I can link you to her Tumblr or Instagram something. Because I absolutely loved her pieces and her pieces were the ones I was most looking forward to making stickers out of. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope everyone found it useful. If you like videos like these, please be sure to let me know via the comments down below. Also like this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to see updates of anything that I'm getting up to, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Take care everyone. Bye.